if you don't like manga, or you don't like my Romanian accent or my voice, I beg you, just watch 30 seconds of this video. I guarantee to you, your time will be rewarded because there's some interesting points that I'm going to make. So this is a manga called True Education. And this is on chapter 42. It shows a businessman who has his life filled with work and doesn't have time for his children. But for the first time ever, he makes an effort. And he's going to say that he's not going to work today, even though this can get him fired. Because for the first time ever, he realizes there is something more important than his job. And that something is his children. He looks at the diary of his little girl and he hangs up to his boss. And what he reads into the little girl's diary shocks him to the core. The little girl writes that she doesn't understand what teacher says in class. So she asked the question to the teacher and the teacher called her a discriminator. Since then, the little girl has been an outcast from the kids and this caused her to hate her teacher. And we can see here how the other children are enjoying bullying this little girl. They're having fun in bullying in school while the teacher allows it. The teacher is actually happy that this is happening because the little girl is a discriminator. And this shocks the father so much that he realizes his work doesn't matter anymore. What matters is educating his child and getting her away from this abusive situation. But this father isn't the only one that's experiencing this. It seems that everywhere around the country, more and more people are noticing that there's something wrong going on with the children. For example, this uh, parent says that my daughter received a strange education for her homeroom teacher. She suddenly thought up all the traditional fairy tales at home, saying that it is outdated and even saying bad words she can't even say. I've warned the teacher many times, but she won't listen. I'm so worried that my daughter will turn out weird. Please help me. So uh, this appears to be happening in a single school and this is the teacher to blame we can see the teacher here writing on a blog pretending to be a little girl saying that i finished my homework at dawn at school went back with two of my friends and seven drunk boys ran up and pushed us these fucking bitches look like shit they shouted one of my friends fell down and bled i tried calling the police but so she is writing like these Hot takes these articles on a blog pretending to be a little girl just to get clicks. You know, she, she's doing this for a noble cause, uh, as we're going to see. Like, this, this is what she considers helping society. Uh, but one of her colleagues sends this and says that, Teacher, uh, our education suit must have been leaked over the weekend and the internet is going crazy. Although the operator has shot it down, there was a tip-off to the Blue House, the National Assembly, and the Ministry of Education. So in other words, like people are finding out the type of education she is giving to her children, and they're really upset about it. And to this, the teacher says, why is this a problem? We're here to make a world without discrimination. We're making a noble effort. Right? So this is the reason mangas are the most sold type of comics in the United States right now. If you look at the list, the, the first top 20 sold comics in the U.S. are mangas. And it's because of reasons like this. They're tackling actual issues that are happening. They're tackling uh, th this type of issue where education is not about getting a job. But it actually ends up with turning children one against each other. The, the us versus them mentality. Uh, you have another manga that was very problematic where... A woman, a princess, using her looks, her charms, and her beauty was manipulating everyone. She accuses the hero of uh, false sexual assault in order to rob the hero blind, to ostracize the hero from the kingdom. And this upset a lot of progressives just because of the content of the story. Attack on Titan is another one. It shows that uh, every type of people can be evil given the right circumstances. And history isn't black and white. It's shades of gray. So, so you get like all of these mangas and the problem with them is that it gets people to think. And, and this is the, the worst problem. It gets people to think because someone can read the manga and then they can go to a teacher in a real classroom and be like, hey, hold on a little bit. Like what you're doing here, teacher, is just like in that manga. You're doing just like in that manga. You're not a good person. You're a bad person. You're just like the teacher from that manga. And obviously, like this is what they hate. It's, it's not the fact that manga is outselling Western comics, which is true. 
But it's also the fact that the, their stories are actually better. And on top of that, you also have like people starting to think and question things, question certain t- concepts. It's like, well, hold on a little bit. Like just because you're against discrimination, if your at work does actual discrimination, isn't this a problem? Shouldn't parents focus more on their children than they're focusing on their job? Shouldn't they prioritize their family more than they're prioritizing work? Because the first time I read this comic, I was like, oh my God, you know, like, why is this person so irresponsible? Why does he want to risk losing his job, right? Because that, that's how society makes us feel nowadays, that the job is the most important thing in the world. Working for the company is the most important thing. There is nothing in the world that can be more important than keeping your job. And, you know, it, it actually makes you feel when you realize, okay, well, this is actually a good guy. This is actually a person that cares about his children. He's actually a family man. And for him, the well-being and safety of his daughter is more important than whatever uh, his company offers him. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's this. But um, because of this, you know, like the progressives, they they hate this, that people have an option. Like they, they can go and read manga. Which, by the way, isn't very different than how movies used to be like in the 80s and the 90s. I mean, if you look at Robocop 2, a movie that's considered to be quite subpar, the whole thing about Robocop 2 is that Diversity Lady rewired Robocop, gave him 200 directives in order to make him more political correct, and this made him impossible to do police work. And these movies make you think, you know, these movies, like, you watch them and you're like, okay, well... I mean, aren't we expecting way too much from law enforcement? I mean, they're already risking their job. And it's like, yeah, it's kind of easy to judge from an armchair position. But when you're the actual police officer, I mean, things are a little bit different. I mean, here's the thing. Like, all these journalists that want to change the world and they're experts on policing. I mean, I I read their articles. They, They have such hot takes with how policing needs to be done. A lot of these journalists are getting fired right now. Because the journalist industry is going through a downpour, you know, a lot of businesses shut down, there's not a lot of ad revenue, so a lot of journalists are getting fired. Why aren't they getting jobs as police officers? I mean, they're experts at doing policing. They, they are the best. They, the world cannot have more experts in policing than journalists. Just read their articles, they know everything. And Minneapolis police is hiring, so why aren't these journalists getting fired, repurposing themselves to doing police work? I mean, they could end systemic racism right there and then. Okay, so that's uh, one of the main issues. Now, what's interesting about it is that a lot of these progressives, they're trying to seize the means of culture. So whatever entertainment outlet you have, that entertainment outlet is going to scream progressive values at you. I mean, whether it is like you like to eat ice cream, well, now the ice cream is going to scream at you. Uh, Whether you like to watch football, well, now the football commentators are going to lecture you why... Mass immigration is a good thing, and if you really like football, you should vote for politicians that support mass immigration. So non-political entertainment is completely gone in favor of entertainment that's preaching at you, and the entertainment that preaches at you only preaches one thing. Like, it's not allowed to preach something else. And the problem that they're having is while most of the Western market is being dominated by this ideology, the Eastern market, uh, Japan and South Korea and even China, I would say, is doing the opposite. And and because there exists competition, the woke ideology cannot survive in a competitive environment. Like this is why they constantly need censorship on forums. This is why they constantly need curators to decide which comic books get greenlit and which comic books don't. Uh, they, they just cannot survive in a world where people freely express their idea so they really try their best in order to co-opt the eastern market and they were partially successful i mean if you look at sony like sony is becoming very woke and and it's basically like playing ball with uh the western companies uh but when it comes to manga and anime they they couldn't make a dent and because of this manga and anime sells very well and a lot of children prefer to read manga and anime than to read uh, Western comics like uh, DC or Marvel. So now they're, they're trying a different approach because they couldn't subvert them. They, they're trying a different avenue. And one of the members of the World Economic Forum has a very great suggestion on how they can be successful. Now I'm going to do some very, very shameless self-advertising. I'm going to do one of those Marvel crossover events 
What I'm going to have to ask you, and I, and I know a lot of you won't like it, but hey, you know, it's a living for me, so I need to do this. I am going to make the second video on my alternative channel where I talk about comic books and entertainment. And I am going to show you exactly the plan that the World Economic Forum has in place to uh, be a little bit more censorious towards mangas and anime. So at this point, it's just the plan. It, it has been greenlit. Uh, but I'll give you the TLDR. See, like I shouldn't. I should. I know this is a bad marketing tactic, right? I need Belle Delphine to do the marketing for me because she's great. Like she can sell bath water to people. Uh, I shouldn't uh, tell you what the plan is, right? I should make you curious enough to click. But I just can't. I can't do clickbait. So the TLDR version is that they want to pressure Google and Apple in order to censor manga that is controversial based on Western standards. So I'm going to go in depth in that video. I'm going to show receipts. I'm going to explain to you exactly what's happening. So all you have to do is to go down into the comment section and click the pinned comment. It gives you a link to my other channel and you can see the video there. Let me know what you guys think and I will see you in the comment section or actually I will see you on my other channel called Lack of Entertainment just because there's nothing entertaining anymore. Everything is serious, right? Politics is a very serious business. So if you have politics in entertainment, then entertainment becomes serious. So there is a lack of entertainment.